Okay, okay, okay. I got a different idea. With alacrity, it seems that... Oh, no, with agonize a poison, it seems that I have to sit on a target for a very, very, very long while before I can, like, really move on away from them. So I feel like I just kind of want to drop my dots off and move on. I think Alacrity or Exsanguine would be a better option. Exsanguine kind of just lets your bleeds run out fast. I don't know if that's what I really want to do. I kind of want to leave him and let him tick. So maybe I'll go Alacrity for this with Venom Rush. I feel like maybe Mark 3 might be better to spread dots. But I'll go to go Venom Rush. I kind of want to dot him up, right? I want to get a Garrote in there, a nice powerful Garrote, get a Rupture in there, get a Hemo, and then kind of like put my dots. Maybe even Creeping Venom on an enemy. You know, it depends on my common points. And then kind of just walk away and just let him go. That's basically what I would do, is just put my dots, let him go. Put my dots, maybe Creeping Venom, let him go. Put my dots, onto the next guy. Put my dots, onto the next guy. And kind of just spread pressure left and right. I want to see if this works. Because I kind of want to play a cool build for Assassin's, right? I suspect that I'm going to play as an old. So I want to have some fun different builds, right? What I'm trying to kind of do is do like this poison bleed kind of thing. Almost like an affliction more like the spread it all over the place. Just spread my dots, spread it on, spread it on. So it'll be kind of like, open up this, this, dot, chemo, and I'm out. And I'm on to the next one. I'm on to the next love of my life. Maybe vanished for a more powerful Garot. And change onto the Warlock now. I assume most of my damage will be changed up a little bit because I'm going to throw in a kidney. And while I have the Demon Hunter here, no mind, he's just gone. He's in Africa now. Put my dots. Do my thing. Demon Hunter here. Let me just go hit him up with dots as well. Uh-oh. That's a... So many Demon Hunters, man. I swear to God. If I can just dot him? No, I can't. Alright, this dude has full health now. What? No way. I'll put Creeping Venom on him again. Put Creeping Venom on this guy. And now I need to put a Creeping Venom on you while I have a healer available. To stack it and then move back to the Warlock. Because this Warlock is a survivalist, dude. He's a Live Lord McGee. Holy shit. And he's back up alive. <laughs> this guy just won't die. Alright. Okay, cool. Dots. And we have more people incoming. I'm just going to put more dots. This is a dot day, dude. This is a dot-like day. This is awesome. This is my birthday or something. And more Demon Hunter with Metamorphosis. Jesus. Lordy. Lordy. Let me just dot you up, please. Boomy. Oh, yeah, that's my Boomy. Okay, I was going to say, if it's a Boomy hitting me... Then I would have been a little bit upset. How are we doing? Hey, look at that. It actually is dealing damage. I don't know if that's a lot of damage, but definitely feels like I'm putting a lot of spread pressure. Not only am I putting spread pressure, I'm also disabling any healing that the enemies have. So it's kind of like a twofer. All right, we're going to be going hit on that cart. What we're going to do is just do a bunch of hit and runs. Just slap people with a bunch of dots. And then we're out of there. Slap you with a dot. Slap you with a dot. Got feared away. Damn, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what I want is to slap more people dots, but it's okay. We got a we got a re stealth. It means we're able to actually get a bunch of garrotes. Uh, if only it wasn't a cooldown. Uh, but it's all right. I'm gonna stop this DK right here. Let's spread my uh, poisons a little bit. I help the poison spread a little bit. Four common points. We'll just have to use vendetta on the warlock in order to get a bunch of energy back. This demon hunter is still out here making plays. Let's uh, stop the Demon Hunter a bit. Just slow him down a little, just a little bit. Continue spreading our dots all over the place. Maybe get a quick in Venom on the guy so we can get Creeping Venom available. I think we got it. Creeping Venom on this guy. Garrote. Hemo. I think they will just die from damage over time. And we have been brought back. I'm pretty sure it's when we got Fear to Africa is when things became a little bit dicey for us. But I can't really compete with a balancer in terms of damage or have a demon hunter in terms of their cleave. So I guess I did okay. Yeah. I hope this BG isn't too uh, short because I kind of want to practice my dot spread a little bit more. Okay, I probably shouldn't have uh, hit him with a cheap shot because it's done incoming. That guy, he, 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 that, he died real quick. We won that video game. Uh, I really want more of these guys to come out. Like, I know they're just going to be like demotivated, like, oh man, Alliance loses yet again. No, but it's like. Come on, please. Play like a man. Play like a man, not like a horse. A four compound rupture will do. Get in on the shaman. Put my dots on him. Creeping Venom here. He's sitting in a thing. Ooh, this actually might be a lot of damage incoming. Ooh, -wee. this sucks. 
This is going to be a little bit painful. Let's spread my damage over time to the Monkus. Now we can let him go. Or he won't let us go now, though. Uh, corruption? Maybe I could, could have stopped it. Maybe I could have. Spread my dots again all over the place. Making sure the Hemo is available on everybody and so much energy incoming, especially with the haste I built up with Alacrity. Now I think I can line up a stun on somebody, a full kidney, and see if I can put some actual damage in. Again, spread the, make the dots happen. And my Vendetta is part of the dot as well. Part of the dot family, which is part of the, you know, everyday nutrition. You should get a little bit of, a uh, bit of poisons, a bit of, uh, crits, and then a bit of dots. Part of the dots, you know, it's kind of where the sweets lie in. But I'm kind of late. I'm just spoiling these guys below my sweet dots. Look at that. And this warlock is still hitting me. He's still shooting. He's still shooting. But look how low everybody's at. Do you think it was anyone's spread pressure? No, it is my own homemade spread pressure. It's my homemade spread. <laughs> it is my homemade spread. Alrighty, this warlock is still alive even after all of my efforts. So I don't understand anymore. But that's probably because I'm hitting. A uh, tank demon hunter instead of uh, anybody that should be taking more damage than a tank demon hunter, right? So it's probably a fault on me anyway. Put a rupture. I need a garrote on you. Cool. Now we got all our damages. Now we can continue spreading it all. Spread it on. Spread it on. And our healer, I think, is dying. I actually don't know where he's at anymore. I'm going to put dots on you. I'm actually going to throw this guy in the kidney. And then I'm going to move on to a different target. Oh, all these fears and all the CC, all the stuns and everything, dude. It's actually a bit obnoxious now it is. Ha! Ah, Garochu. Dang, Demon Hunter. I don't want to stand on any of his. I know exactly what Demon Hunter is doing. I, I see it, but I ain't buying it. I ain't buying none of that. Nope, not today. Not in my house. Please run. Nope. No running today. Hoo wee how we doing? Oh, I think this is actually a little bit better. So, I feel like, I don't really know how much pressure we are putting in, but if everybody is taking like 2.24k damage a second, and then there's Deadly Boys in with 12k, um, I guess that's a decent amount of spread pressure, because then everybody is taking like, what, 30, 40k worth of damage a second or so? Somewhere, yeah, I'm, par I'm terrible with math right now, but I'm trying to figure out if this is an effective build. Like, I am looking like I'm, you know, pulling damage on the board, sort of, kinda, but it's a question of, am I actually pulling damage, or is this like, Superficial numbers. Ah, uh, demon hunters. Just such mobility. It's so annoying at this point. Ah, uh, you. Slow it down, Buster Brown. Here we go. And now he's up. Nah. He's up in the sky, dude. He's up in the heaven in heavens. He left the uh, corporeal galaxy as we know it. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish, my friend. But I got all my dots in you. Look how much damage he deals. That's a decent amount of damage. Except he, yeah, with Creeping Venom and everything, does a decent amount of damage. I think what I need to do is get that Creeping Venom in there. Get that Hemo, get that Rupture, he, Creeping Venom, and like, that's it. And I'm set. Otherwise, it's not going to come in anymore. Yeah, look at that. Young Jews, just with all that cleave damage, he deals so much more than I do, on average. Yeah, so this build, I guess, works, and you're able to spread pressure, but... Now we're kind of going back to this thing where now you want to play the conventional build because conventional build kind of accomplishes all the main things you want to do as assassination. But this is still is an option. So assassination, you can do spread pressure, you know, with multiple bleeds, multiple dots. But I think now we're coming back to the thing where we had at the beginning of the beta where it's like you could, but because of how much damage you're able to deal now, the conventional build allows you to train a target a little bit more effectively. So it's like you could spread pressure. But that's not what really your class is meant to do to begin with, right? The way they designed it. So on one hand, I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. All I can, all I can do is like not spread pressure. I like, I would have been, it would have been awesome if it was like, hey, it's an option and it's solid. I mean, I, it's, I guess it works with agonizing poison and then your bleeds are super, super strong. But it's like there's so many things that can go wrong in between. I honestly felt that if rogues were, you know, if they were to take away 5% agility, which, uh, by God, if, Blizz if, if no Blizzard as they are, they could in your moment. Uh, if they did that, then I think this uh, dot build was a l would be a little bit more effective because then I'd be seeing more damage in my dots. Right now, my dots are doing decent amount of damage in PvP without having to go the extra mile for agonizing and the extra mile for hemo. So it's like... Master Poison becomes back effective because now everything deals damage, your Artifact Open deals damage, your Vendetta deals damage, your Deadly Poison deals damage, your Envenoms deal damage, your Bag of Tricks deals more damage. So it's like, 
that's a better source of damage instead of applying Hemo, which is a global and you know you don't really want to waste too many globals. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Sort of. A little bit. But yeah, this is worth a test and this was kind of fun. I do still prefer like System Shock like for that extra oh, juicy, juicy damage instead of the Creeping Venom and uh, how much damage it offers. At least for Battleground. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out some of my older videos as well. Some of my more recent videos in the uh, video. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming.